welcome in my previous video i walked you through on how you can publish a book on apple and that was focused on how to create your apple id and how to create itunes connect okay account as well which will allow you to upload your books on apple and start selling okay so i also walked you through on how to you know agree with apple and set up your tax information and at the same time how to add your bank accounts okay here i'll be focusing on how you can now upload your files on apple so that your book will go live at the end okay i did not cover that in previous video so let's get started i'll open my browser so here you can see this um, link we see the link http https um color sub for slash double sub slash autos.apple.com slash prepare i have it on the video as well the link here so when you're on this platform you choose the format of the book you want to publish the format your file your manuscript is you know um the format your manuscript is structured in okay so but here we have options here which are pages microsoft word epub other formats including um pdf and kf8 okay so but let's assume that the manuscript is formatted in microsoft word format so we go with this option so click on convert your document here we are taking whereby with the heading that has the heading prepare your document for apple books you know um in apple they have their own format so they don't publish books on word documents formats so that's why we are giving this option okay so you have the option the first section here which involves converting your word document to an epub file and uploading it using publishing portal and you have this option use pages to upload and publish your book okay this is for iphone users or people that use a a tab that works with um iphone operating system okay so here it says publish on apple books so after you have done this you go ahead and publish your book on apple books okay so but i will go with this first option because i'm accessing this platform using my windows 11 laptop so i'll click on publishing portal so we are taking to this page so still click on publishing portal okay we are landed on this page after we click on that publishing portal for the second time and we are giving some options here all right so in the previous video i walked you through on how to create itunes connect account okay so we have already created it so click on the option sign in to itunes connect and then sign in with your itunes connect account detail You will be taken to a page like this so click on the apple id section then insert your email address which is your ID, apple id and also followed by your password and you then sign in by clicking on this arrow okay verify that you're the one signing into the account by typing the code that is being sent to your mobile number Okay, you are now taken to this page. The next step you are going to take is to submit a new book on the assumption that you want to publish a new book. After selecting the option to submit a new book, click on continue. Then you are going to fill the details about the book, which is choose a book file, then choose a file sample, and then choose a cover image. All right, so after filling all this, you click on continue. As you can see here, um, I have my file already uploaded on the platform and it is in EPUB format. Please ensure you convert your book or your manuscript to EPUB format before you proceed. If it's in document format, there's, there are a number of websites that can allow you to do the conversion. 
And one of them is what I want to have in is my browser here. That is convertsio.co. So you can see the website. When you get to the website, choose to choose file by clicking on this choose file section. Then upload the documents. Then choose the format you want to up convert it to, which is the APOP format. Okay, and then you proceed. Once the conversion is over, click on download and then download it to your system. Okay, so let's get back to the main page, which is um the item connect section. Okay, and uh, I want to highlight some things. Book file is marked with asterisk, which is which means that is next is very important. That in fact it's a basic, you cannot proceed without uploading a book format. Okay, that's why it's marked on with asterisk. Then the other section is cover image section. You must upload cover image. So that's why it's marked with asterisk. The other choose a sample is optional. You can decide to choose a sample or not. Okay, so there is no asterisk on it. So after filling this, uploading your file and then uploading the cover image just hit the continue button to get to the next session okay when you click on continue button this is the next page you'll be taking so you are required to fill the title subtitle series name if any applies but the basic thing is the title that is very is compulsory that's why it's marked with asterisk subtitle series name author name just fill in our the author first and last name then describe the book and then hit the continue button on this new page, you are required to choose a primary subject category, secondary subject category, and third subject category. So make us uh, choose a category related to the book you are publishing. Okay, then click on this spot to choose age, you know, 12 and older, and the rest. So just make your choice, then select the primary language, which is English, yeah, probably. Then it says, does your book contain explicit content? That is adult content. By default, no is selected. So it's okay. Then you proceed by clicking on the continue button. On hitting the continue button, you'll be taken to this page. Here you are required to fill the publisher name. You can choose the name you are as an author, maybe the name you are using for this publication. Okay, just type in the name there, or if you have a publisher name that is registered, type it there. Okay, then under ISBN number 13, 13 number, um, is optional. If you have an ISBN, please insert it in this space. Then the original publication date, the date the book is published, or uh, maybe you have published this book on another platform before, just write the publication date, type the, choose the publication date here. But it's not compulsory actually because it's not marked with asterisk like this first option which is publication publisher name okay so after that just hit the button publish book to itunes connect and you are good to go okay once you hit the button you will see a page that looks like this it says you are almost done use itunes connect to add release date optional pre-order date, pricing, and territory information for your books. Okay, for your book. Your book will not be available for purchase until you add this information. So the next step you need to take is to click on go to iTunes Connect. As you are on the iTunes Connect page, you will be landed on a page that some um, you know show some information just click on the my books option all right click on the my books option you'll be taken to this page that we are right now okay so the book that you are publishing will be shown up here but i don't want to display the name of this book for my personal reason okay so click on that book and then continue with the setup okay Okay, on that page, select pricing, okay? The pricing link, and then go on with the option to add price, all right? And as well as location. Okay, so that will take you to the page like this. I check this, apply the RN option, okay? Pre-order, if you have a pre-order, release date, if you have a release date you want to add. Base currency, I'm going with USD. So you fill all this necessary information. 
under apply to countries i will recommend that you go with select all okay unless if you have some countries you don't want to sell your book after filling this detail click on continue button to move on to the next page okay on this new page you will see the countries and the list price of your book physical list prices of your book in each of these currencies okay then also you can see the price tier which is structured by apple okay so i feel everything is okay so the next step you have to take is to click on confirm to continue to the next page okay we are still on the next page all right so you can see price start date as well and the the ops other countries that have your book and those that do not have your book and the same okay so it's processing so for this page the next step you have to take is to click on enable because you can see not on store not on store so we have to enable them by hitting the enable button okay what this means is that future countries or regions if apple then have another market in other new countries okay we have already enabled it so the we move our book or ship our book to those countries where they will still be selling okay so it's an advantage to us so after hitting the enable button then click on done okay we'll be taken to this new page so scroll down the page and hit the done button okay on this page again what we need is still to click on what done button once apple reviews your book and they confirm that everything is okay with your book they will publish your book and you will get an email to that effect thank you for taking your time to watch through this video please if it helps hit the like button also if you have not subscribed to my channel or maybe because you're watching my channel for the first time or you'll be visiting my channel please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button you can also watch my video on um how to publish book on apple the first part one that's the first part of it okay if you're just an absolute beginner who have not published books on apple before now please watch that first part which is the part one i have the link in the video below thank you i'll see you some other time